Salut, bienvenue dans ma classe. I don't know if the, the pronunciation is okay, but my friend Pierre, in French they call him Pierre, taught me that phrase. Welcome to my class. Bienvenue dans ma classe. Um, thank you for choosing here. So, in today's video, we are still proceeding, analyzing Fathers of Nations. We are in chapter 3. Today we are going to base our lesson on the summary. And I have identified various episodes in the chapter. Episode number 1, we have information about Professor Kimani. And then we have a conversation between Tuni and her father. After that, we have the family conversation between mother, father and daughter. You know them. And we have the death of Tuni. After the death of Tuni, we have a seer only living, Professor Kimani. For who? And uh, lastly, we have Tad Longwe paying a visit to Professor Kimani. So we are going now to give a full summary of the chapter. Um, the chapter begins with the history of Professor Kimani. And we are told that he studied at the University of Oxford. And he is a senior lecturer at the University of Nairobi. He got that opportunity after the University of East Africa was dismantled. And after joining the university, he came or he learned a debate which stated, I'm going to read here, University of Nairobi uh, to strive to relevance to the society rather than excellence to its work. And this led to the university motto to be changed to relevance to the society. And he did not stop there. In addition to that, he wanted the university to be an agent of change. And it is at the university that he met his beautiful wife. What was her name? You are right, Asiya Amundi, a beautiful little lady. And after the marriage, he got a promotion in which he's promoted to a professor. That is why now we are having Professor Kimani. After the information about Pro Professor Kimani, sorry, we have conversation between Tuni and her father. Tuni is Professor Kimani's daughter. And she got that name because it is believed that Tunisia is her country of conception, Tuni from Tunisia. Her father had gone there for a conference and her mother had gone there for a ride and Tuni was made. And in the conversation between a father and daughter, we learned that the government staged coup to improve their remuneration. This is because when Professor Kimani started teaching professors, and I repeat professors, used to earn more than the MPs. But when the MPs entered into the government, things changed. They have to change laws to favor themselves. And now as we speak, or in the book, what is happening is that the MPs are earning more. In fact, according to the book, it hundreds and hundreds of times was the university lecturers and professors are earning. And to add on that, their salary is not taxable. After that, we have a family conversation that is between Professor Kimani, Asiya Mundi, and Tuni. And in the conversation or in the dialogue, we learn that the state or the government had failed to play its role, and that is providing safety to the citizens. And that is why Tony and other women joined a seminar in which the instructor, who is also a woman, is teaching them how to protect themselves. And uh, after that, we also have uh, the death of Tony. And we learned that, we learned that Tony died in a road accident, actually, because she was using her, uh, some public means of transport because her father's car was not in a good condition. Actually, he was waiting for the next salary to, to repair the car. Imagine a university professor uh, not affording that money. So 
That is how Tuni died. And after the death of Tuni, it was six months after, about six months after, we have Asiya Omondi. Asiya Omondi broke the news to her husband, Professor Kemani. She told him that she was going to leave him for newborn Walom. We know that newborn Walom is a very rich man. He is an MP. He has many cars and a lot of money. So, so Asiya is leaving the husband for someone with money. We can say professor, professor here, he doesn't have money. The same case that is happening in the contemporary society. Teachers, be teachers, I don't know, teachers, professors, they don't earn a lot of money. But when you go to the, the parliament, they earn a lot and lots of money and actually most of them are not even educated. Later on, we are going to see that uh, the MP, who is Newborn Walum, he is a university dropout. Uh, after leaving Professor Kimani, uh, there was a conflict, conflict between Professor Kimani and Newborn Walum. And after that, it led to an act of violence because Professor Kimani had to visit Newborn Walum to his office. And after that, he is charged with assault and uh, he was given, I can say, two kinds of punishment for assaulting a member of parliament. Can you recall? Please try to think. Yes, he was jailed for six months. And number two, he was demoted from a professor to a senior lecturer. And after that, we can see how Mr. Tad Longwe paying a visit to Professor Kimani, he's from Agra. Uh, he tries to convince Professor Kimani to join Agda. And uh, to joining Agda, he's going to follow a, pa a path called Path Alpha. And they believe that Path Alpha is going, Path Alpha or Agda is going to change Africa status quo, situation as it is uh, right now or when the book was being written. And he believed, uh, Mr. Tad Longwe believes that Agda or Pat Alpha is going to bring changes in Africa. And Professor Kimani agrees to join Pat Alpha because he had suffered a lot. Losing the wife, being demoted, being jailed and whatever. Now he doesn't want to be a professor anymore. He decided to, uh, to follow by Alpha and we learned that he's going to be trained and after that Tad Longwe together with his party are going to ensure that he attends to the uh, summit of the 49 or the 50 foreign heads of state. So that is a summary in chapter 3 and in this chapter we have so 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 many themes. Try to identify the themes and then in the next chapter we are going to analyze. And I hope that the video has been useful to you. If yes, give me a comment and give me a like, a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate. Thank you so much for watching. Blessings.